Cervical cancer is one of the leading cancers in Malawian women, and 80% of these women get this cancer detected at a very late stage. The study is part of a wider consortium effort which will be done across multiple sites recruiting 100,000 women to validate a new cervical cancer screening strategy which will be based on HPV assay as a first line testing and the second line will be based on an AI based evaluation of the cervical images. This new approach is based on two elements fundamental. The first is the mise à disposition of the whole of women d'un test de dépistage du papillomavirus ou des souches à haut risque du papillomavirus pour permettre d'identifier quelles femmes vont potentiellement développer un cancer par la suite. Pour ces femmes-là, et uniquement pour ces femmes-là, il y a ensuite un deuxième examen qui est celui du VIA dans lequel le cervix est évalué et pour lequel au sein de l'étude nous allons tester et valider un nouvel algorithme d'intelligence artificielle pour aider les infirmières à détecter et caractériser les lésions cancéreuse au niveau du service. This is where the camera is, where we capture the image when doing the VIA. Mm -hmm. In most cases, most women which are coming to Queen Elizabeth Central Hospital for cervical cancer uh, assistance, they are coming at a, at a later stage due to the fact that uh, there is lacking some sort of early diagnosis in detecting this cancer at an earlier stage. The method that is used for screening is, um, is a method that is called VIA, Visual Inspection with Acetic Acid. So basically what we do is that we, we look at the cervix of the women, we apply a bit of acetic acid, which is the equivalent of vinegar, and with that method, if there is a cancer or pre cancer, there will be some white lesions that will appear. <laughs> The advantage is, is that uh, it's, a, it's a cheap method because you don't need specific equipment. The disadvantage of this method is that it's operator dependent. So when a nurse will see a small lesion, I might not see it. And when I will see a small lesion, another nurse might not see it. Then those women, they go back home, they don't come back for, uh, for a second um, screening and they develop cancerous lesions. Then when they come to us, they have developed already a cancer and then it's too late for the treatment in most of the cases. MSF, with the help of the MSF Foundation, has been looking into, into possibilities of increasing what we call the sensitivity of this test, so making sure that we are not losing women on the way, that we are not misdiagnosing women or letting women go that have potentially uh, a cancer or that will develop in the future a cancer. Aucun le sein de l'étude, toutes les images qui seront utilisées pour la validation de cet algorithme seront reliées à des biopsies pour confirmer le statut cancer de la femme. C'est vraiment une chance de pouvoir participer à ce consortium et euh, de valider tous ensemble ces deux approches euh, avec une cohorte qui est très importante. On vise à terme 100 000 personnes, 100 000 femmes, et de pouvoir faire ce qu'une population qui sera représentative des endroits où euh, ces deux approches seront utilisées par la suite. My role is to coordinate all the research activities in 10 districts in Blanta and Chiradzuru, making sure that all the SOPs and the protocols are adhered to at all times. I'm super excited to be part of the team that will bring evidence to validate the screening tool, uh, just to make sure our women are diagnosed and treated properly. One of the main objectives of this study is to really make sure that, uh, as I explained, to, to increase the sensitivity of the test, to make sure that, that we diagnose and that we detect all the women that have a precancerous lesion that might not be seen by the human being, but that will be detected by the artificial intelligence. 
And doing that, we will treat more women at a very early stage.